I want to tell you about a passion of mine. And that is the study of Lafayette's life. I want to tell you a story that is 50 years after the Revolutionary War when he came back to this country in 1824. He spent his entire time traveling this nation, reminding Americans that they belong to the same national community, being a symbol of unity. And I think it resonates pretty deeply with what we are experiencing in this country today. And I want people to know more of the parallels that can be drawn between just two parts of American history and the role of the Franco-American Alliance and Lafayette in keeping the nation together. And I hope you will follow me as I travel the state of North Carolina, documenting what Lafayette did and placing Lafayette trail markers around the state. I am in Suffolk, Virginia, which is one of the very last stops that Lafayette made in Virginia before he crossed into North Carolina. So Lafayette was here uh, in Suffolk on the 25th of February, spent the night, and the next morning left to go to North Carolina. So I'm going to follow his footsteps town by town, dedicating markers very similar to this one in the hope to show you what Lafayette did and how today we try to preserve his legacy. So what do you say? Let's get started. Let us hit the Lafayette Trail. Let us follow the Frenchman. So Lafayette's tour in 1824-25. It's 13 months in the United States. It's visiting 24 states, 25 now if you count West Virginia. It is a historical episode that has touched countless communities at local level, obviously, states and federal government. Uh, this is when he became the icon that now he is, still to this day, with paintings all over the place of him. That's the one I remember. Yeah, yeah. So that's in front of uh, the Wheeler House? Correct. What do you think about Lafayette? Oh, we, we think it's great that Lafayette stops here. I yeah. Mean, we, we focus a lot of things on, the, on his visit. Good morning, buddy. Good morning. How are you? So that's the one? Yeah, that's it. So can anybody tell us a little story about the carriage at all? What do you know about it? As far as we know, this is a copy okay. or a similar carriage to the one that Lafayette arrived in Murfreesboro. Okay. When he was met by the citizens. Right. And had crossed the river and up the hill, got stuck in the mud, and so on and so forth. But there are family members who claim this is the carriage, but we you can't we, we can't substantiate that okay. at this point. But we're we're looking into it. Okay. But that's the story on the carriage. There was a there was a committee from Raleigh that went that was supposed to go to the state line in Virginia mm -hmm. to welcome Luffy. Then right. everyone there, and as a result, it's the little folks from Murfreesboro <laughs> right. who have limited resources. They had to go up there and extend the invitation <laughs> from the state to Lafayette. Right. <laughs> so I think it's funny. I think you did a great job, by the way. I think yeah. you were amazing. So after Lafayette left Murfreesboro, he headed west to uh, something called a town called uh, Northampton County Courthouse, which is now the town of Jackson, uh, North Carolina. So on the way, as is uh, documented by a, a personal diary, he stopped at a place called the Zion Meeting House. So we're going to stop at uh, a church that sits on the same side today, and we're going to dedicate a marker in Conway. It's our first dedication of the day. We're very excited. Uh, thank you, of course, to. Uh, the team uh, at the church, me, the pastor, for supporting Caddy, for allowing this market to move forward here on the property. We're very excited. Uh, you know, it's important that when we have the data to support a stop, we do it. I think it's important that uh, we can have this history uh, grounded in the communities. And that's what we try to do at the Lafayette Trail across the country. So, you know, we do that in more than 175 communities. And I think that we're going to leave a legacy behind that hopefully people can be inspired by Lafayette's legacy and those markers. Uh, they can learn more about what it means, uh, the, the, the significance of the Franco-American Alliance. And uh, I'm glad to have a marker here on your property. So again, thank you so much for uh, making this happen. Our church was only three years old when General Lafayette was coming through on his way to Jackson. But it was rainy and it was muddy and his carriage wheel got stuck and a horse tripped and fell. The wheel came off and the men of Zion 
got to help him fix his wheel. <laughs> All right. The country is very divided right now. I mean, it's a secret for nobody. And uh, I think that uh, what I see in Lafayette's legacy is a good way to bring the nation together, despite you know views or where you live or which state, whatever accent you have, whatever. Uh, we all, you know, we're all part of the same national community. Vive Lafayette! Vive LeBron! <laughs>